Gino Ream came into the Event 4 final table, blasting away and powered through to a win that put him in the top five of the 2023 Poker Master standings. Now he comes into the Event 6 final table with one eye on a second win and the other on that purple jacket. It's Chino's world, and we're just lucky to have a front row seat. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Las Vegas, the 2023 Poker Masters today. My name is Donnie Peters, and I will be bringing you a one-hour preview stream of the event number six final table, $218,500 up top for the winner. You saw it there in the intro. Chino Reem going for his second title of this series, trying to join Vladis Tomasowskis as a two-time winner at the 2023 Poker Masters. There is the race for the Purple Jacket. Tomasowskis up on top with quite the lead, 506 points, but Chino Reem is looking to put as big of a dent as possible in that gap with a performance here today. Justin Bonomo, three-time Super High Roller Bowl champion, is at this final table. Ryan Reese appearing in the money for his fourth time this series. First final table, though. We'll see if he can get it done. Steven Chidwick, always one of the best back here at the final table today. Excited to watch him play. One of the top minds in the game. If you are joining us on YouTube, reminder, one hour free preview stream. There you see the event number six final table presented by StormX, the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of PokerGo. Orpin Kasechi Koglu is the chip leader. There you see what these final seven players are playing for. Payouts presented by Velato. FlyVelato.com. $218,500 up top for the winner. $47,500 is what each of these final seven players is guaranteed. We'll start things off in level 16, 25,000 small blind, 50,000 big blind. And we start things off with a couple rockets here for Jack Hardcastle. He's going to come in with a raise to 100,000. Play folds over to Justin Bonomo in the small blind with the king queen off. Bonomo gives it up. Chip leader, Kisachi Koglu here. In the big blind with the jack nine off. He does make the call. Ace 10 4, top set for Hardcastle. His powerful holding only improves here. Kasach Koglu, not much to work with on this flop. He checks over to Hardcastle. Who comes with 75,000. That'll get it done. It's a good start. Wow. <laughs> yeah, good start. Top set of aces. Can't start much better than that. What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Nothing yet. Okay. Just a cold brew coffee. <clears throat> the chips in play currently. The blue ones are worth 5,000. The purple ones, 25,000. And the yellow ones, 100,000. Chip denominations presented by card player, the poker authority. If you are joining us on YouTube for this free one hour preview, welcome. Appreciate you guys joining us once again. We have Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call. They are the A-team over on PokerGo.com. My name is Donnie Peters here for this preview stream coverage. Hit that like button if you would be so kind to do so. Throw us a little subscribe on the channel too. The best way to stay involved with all of the content we are bringing you on the PokerGo YouTube channel. We'll have one hour preview streams of every Poker Masters final table from here on out through the remainder of the series. Also daily highlight videos posted. 
tons and tons of poker content. Two sixty. Got to give a shout out to our lovely moderators out there in the YouTube chat. Christy, RMX Indiana, as we see uh, Justin Bonimo here, gets a three bet through with pocket tens. We got Christy, we got RMX Indiana. I don't see Russell yet. I don't see Jimmy Bluffy yet. Where are they at? As always, we appreciate you guys moderating the YouTube chat, keeping things in line, although the chat's been on, it's, it's really good behavior. Pretty much all week long. A couple deletions here and there, but nothing too crazy. That's what we like to see. Fun little community of just watching some high stakes, high level poker. Chino Reem here first to act, he's raise. got two fives. He's gonna raise it up to 100,000. Chino Reem is looking for his second title of this Poker Masters. He won event number four. That was another $10,000 buy-in Nolan Hold'em tournament. Justin Bottomo here with Queen Jack of Hearts. Electing to make the call out of the cutoff seat. To the flop we go, 6-6-3. Six, six, Two diamonds out there. Chino Reams, pocket fives, still best. He improves to two pair. 80,000 is the wager from Reem. Bonimo gives it up, and Chino takes this one. Button, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Can I? Can you? Can we get a um, a waiter or a waitress? Thanks. Get this man some drinks. Let's go. Egg sandwich. Charger T asking in the YouTube chat if these are all no limit events. Yes, these are all no limit hold'em events. We made that switch uh, recently on the Poker Go Tour. Felt that it would make the competition the best that it could be. And then building on that adjustment, we did launch PGT Mix Games. We also launched the PGT PLO Series. We ran both of those for the first time ever back in the spring. Had some great turnouts. We will be running them back in October. PGT Mix Games 2, PGT PLO Series 2. We also have the first ever Super High Roller Bowl PLO coming up in the middle of October. Event 6 summary on your screen right now. $10,000 buy-in, 95 entries, 14 cashed. Notable finishers in the money include Chris Brewer and Daniel Negreanu. Negreanu, who we saw at the final table earlier in the series. The event number 6 summary brought to you by our friends at GTO Wizard. Stephen Chidwick here, two jacks under the gun. You guys can see Ryan Reese there, former WSB Main Event champion to the right of your screen. He is the shortest stack remaining, sitting on seven big blinds. So Ryan Reese going to be looking to, to make something happen pretty soon. Get up off the bottom of that leaderboard and get himself much more in the middle of the pack so he can contend for that $218,000 first place prize. Play on this one, folding over to Laskowitz in the big blind. He's got an ace five off. And he gives it up. Good old Steve. Be careful when you pick up your fold. Yeah, yeah, was it a bit high? Okay. Just from the bottom. 
Yeah, yeah. I couldn't really tell. I think you had like a queen or something? No. Do you have a king cut? <laughs> I had a king. So, yeah. Yeah. It's just the way when you pick it up from the bottom. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. Just, just push. The all time money list in poker. It's quite the list. Bryn Kenny currently on top, but two members of this event number six final table are on the list, and they're in the top three. Justin Bonomo's in second, $61.9 million in earnings. Steven Chidwick in third, $51.7 million in earnings. These numbers courtesy of the Hendon Mob.com. Right there, it'll probably scratch right off. Bill Tormey asking, what's the buy-in for Super High Roller Bowl PLO? I was going to get to that. Apologies. Got to the action on the screen. But um, $100,000 buy-in. I believe there are re-entries in that one as well. So the way that these PLO players tend to blast, probably going to put two, three bullets in that thing. So it will be a lot of fun there. I'm not sure we've seen a higher buy-in PLO tournament in poker history. If we have... I stand corrected, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think the highest was 50000 that we regularly see at the World Series of Poker. So very much a player's request after we ran that PLO mm. series back in the spring. Mm. Started talking about the idea of having a super high roller bowl PLO. <coughs> players really seemed to think that it could work. There was a good turnout for it. With lemon so we are things? making it happen. Thank you. You guys can check out the full PGT schedule over at pgt.com slash schedule. PGT.com also has the PGT leaderboard. We have news and articles, recaps, all of that good stuff over there as well. Check it out, pgt.com. There is Laskowitz making his entrance. Chino Reem as well. Orpin, Kasachi Koglu. Coffee in hand. Ryan Reese. Always smiling, easy to do when you're at a final table. Jack Hardcastle. Looks like he's trying to ignore the camera, as is Justin Bonomo here. Act like you've been there before, right, guys? Steven Chidwick rounding out the group. Entering the studio here on the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, that's Australia. A lot of poker players were getting tilted about that during Aussie Millions. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't get coffee without ice cream in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is huge. Right? Yeah. This is, yeah. This is done. As we so often hear on these streams, you can hear the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell in the background. He's getting event number seven underway, a $25,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournament going on on the outer tables here at the Poker Go studio. This event, number six final table here that is on your screen, is the final $10,000 buy-in event of this 10-event series. We start getting into three 25K No Limit Hold'em tournaments, and then there is the $50,000 finale coming up as well. Reem opens to 100K. Steven Chidwick moves all in with ace, three of spades. That gets it through. Same thing. Just, just Was it high again? Yeah, that one. All right, I will just do that then. You guys are making him nervous. <laughs> I don't mean to. I thought I went lower. Yeah, it's just when you pick... You yeah, pick it up on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. He's not used to folding, maybe that's one. I wish it was that. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Russell. Glad you could make it again.
those of you out there watching on YouTube. Let us know where you are tuning in from. Always love to see it. About to hit 100 likes on the video. I would like to hit 500 today. I feel like that's a lofty goal, but achievable? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm counting on you guys. So click on that little thumbs up icon. Por favor. Blind versus blind here. Justin Bonomo versus Orpin Kasachi Koglu. Orpin is still the chip leader. Justin Bonomo limps in from the small line with King 7 off. Russell, listen, it, it, it's okay. Better better late than never, as they say. Orpin's going to raise this one up here. Makes it 175,000 to go. Justin Bonomo trying to fix a little mark on the cards there as he kicks him. That one came right off. That's fine. smudges from the film. Locations, I'm seeing Norway. Beautiful, sunny Seattle. I'm not sure anyone has called Seattle beautiful and sunny. Apollo Beach, Florida, Germany, the Philippines, Indiana, Finland, North Dakota, Ireland, Portugal, Salt Lake City, London, England, Brazil, Lake Havasu, another Florida, Chai Town, Finland, St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Go, go Fish understands. I asked for location. He said location weather, and beverage, which is commonly what we do here on the YouTube stream. We have some fun with it. Our version of the chat room ASL from back in the day. Where are you watching from? What's the weather? And what are you drinking? Go Fish, appreciate you. Well done. Hardcastle here comes in with a raise. Ace, king of spades. Action over to Ryan Reese in the big line. Ryan Reese, the short stack, has three deuce suited. He posted the big blind ante. He's got a big blind out there. It'll only cost him one more big blind to make this call. Not a good hand, but might want to just try and take a shot. I, I don't know. I mean, three deuce is <laughs> pretty lowly holding. He does kick it in, and Hardcastle takes that one. We're sending three annual PokerGo subscribers to play in the PGT Championship $1 million free roll. Head on over to PokerGo.com or get.PokerGo.com. You can also scan that QR code on your screen. Subscribe with the annual plan. You can use the promo code DREAM20 to save $20 on the price, and that'll get you entered into the giveaway. But you have to act soon because that giveaway ends in about a week. So... Pretty good offer on there, if I do say so myself. I mean, I'm obviously a company man, but listen, I'll be honest with you guys. Good deal. You can save 20 bucks. You can watch poker whenever you want, and you get a chance to play in a million-dollar free roll with a $500,000 first-place prize. Seems like a steal, if you ask me. Bonomo here, his turn with the ace-king suited. He makes it 110000 Hardcastle in the big blind with the ace seven offsuit. He's going to make the call. Oh. RMX Indiana asked me how the weather was here. It, it's good. It's fall weather. I mean, it, it's warm, but it's not too hot like Vegas is known to be. Okay. I guess uh, those of us here in Las Vegas would call it chilly in the morning, you know, when I stepped outside to let my dogs out, but it feels good. I, I think fall is the best time of the year in Vegas. Fall and even some of winter because it's just nice weather. Queen Jack 4, all diamonds on the flop. Hardcastle has the only diamond in this one. He checked and Bonomo went with 75,000 on the continuation bet. Hardcastle is going to make the call. Oh. 
10 of hearts on the turn. That gives Bonomo a Broadway straight. Hardcastle still there with ace high and the diamond draw. Castle checks the turn and Bonomo comes with 225,000. That's going to get it done. With that pot, Bonomo just shy of 2 million in chips as Paul Campbell, tournament director, announces a blind increase. Justin Bonomo looking for his 34th live tournament victory. Quite the career for Bonhamer. Second on poker's all-time money list currently. Three-time Super High Roller Bowl champion. Great, thank you. One of the best we see on the tournament scene, that is for sure. Playing 30,000, 60,000 here. Stephen Chidwick has the ace, seven of hearts, and comes in 2.5x to 150k. Action op over to Kasachikoglu, the current chip leader. Kasachikoglu came into the day as the chip leader and is still in that top spot. He's got ace jack off in the cutoff seat. Did we get to? Three bet announced, 330,000. Folds back over to Chidwick. And Chidwick gives it up and Kisset Chicago takes that one down, increases his chip lead. For those of you asking about the Super High Roller Bowl PLO that I mentioned, coming up in October, October 16th through 18th, so a three day event, $100,000 buy in with re entries. Players are allowed a single re entry, so can put maximum 200K into that tournament. The plan is to live stream the final two days of the event, so three-day tournament. It'll kick off on October 16th, on October 17th and 18th. Live streaming of that tournament on Poker Go. So we'll stream day two, and then we'll stream the final table as well. Here we see Laskowitz three-bet jamming the Queen Nine of Spades over and open from Kasachikoglu, and he gets that one through. Well timed there from Laskowitz. I guess you're raising if it's folded to us. What's that? I guess you're raising if it's folded to us. Three, five, five minutes. Alaska with a poker pro out of New York, New York. Went to the Cardozo School of Law.
Ryan Reese here with two sevens. Reese is the short stack. He's got just four big blinds here to work with, but expect that the money's going in 200, here. 200,000. He's going to make it 200K, and leave himself with 40K behind. Laskowitz here in the small blind with ace, ten of clubs. That's one point eight five behind. Sorry, one point zero eight five behind. Ten seconds. All in. All in. All in from Laskowitz. He isolates. Stephen Chidwick gets out of the way, and here we go. Ryan Reese flipping for his tournament life. Fair fight. Look. Trying to fade. A seventh place finish here in event number six and get that double up. Reese only a slight favorite. You guys know the drill. Your typical coin flip. 52% for Reese, 48 for Laskowitz. 10, three deuce. Laskowitz takes the lead. Flopping top pair here. You got spades working? I do. Reese does have those backdoor spades that could come into mm -hmm. play holding the seven of spades in his hand. Queen of clubs on the turn, so Ryan Reese is going to need one of the working. two remaining sevens here to stay alive. Nine of spades on the river is not gonna do it, and Ryan Reese, his fourth cash of the 2023 Poker Masters results in a seventh place finish here in event number six for $47,500. Open. Now you really can do some damage. You got some time banks now. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> now you really got time to think yeah, about these real tricks you're going to do. I think that's bad news for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's bad news for us. No, he's better when he doesn't have the time. <laughs> With that pat, pot, excuse me, Laskowitz up yeah, to 1.4 million no in chips. Time banks yesterday. He did. They went pretty well for him. Yeah. What is that thing? My there you see the event number six final table current chip counts presented by StormX, the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of PokerGo. Orpin Kasachikoglu still up on top. He began the day as the chip leader and he is still in the pole position. Stephen Chidwick, our current short stack with a little bit over a million in chips, out. but Shinbrook's still working with 18 big blinds, so a very Does playable stack at this juncture of the tournament. It uh, vibrates on you a bit, my son. I mean, he has a right to know. It generates random numbers for him. Yeah. I, I don't think you should be hiding that from players at the table. It does what? It orange. generates random numbers automatically. I don't, I'm random for number. what? To randomize. Like, if you were like... That should be allowed, but then he, he should show you when he's like rolled he high as well. <laughs> just have it like displayed to everyone. I just know that can change, you know, like <laughs> what they mean. Well, whatever. It seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> it's all random. Fucking all random lucky number spades. Seems to be going well for you right now. Uh, um, Gina Reem here with sorry. the King Jack of Spades. 1.4, 1.5. One, one, Reem in the cutoff seat in like this one. one Almost two. Uh, 1.5, 6, 7, 8, 1.85 ish. Okay, it's um, 30, 60. We are going to do. 10 seconds. That. Base to 135. Re makes it 135,000 to go. Bonomo with the ace. Deuce off in the big blind. Studying the situation. He's going to give it up. And Chino Reem takes this one down. Chino Reem was the winner of event number four. $10,000 buy-in. No limit hold'em. There you see Chino Reem's bio bird board, excuse me, courtesy of 
the Hendy Mob. Three time WPT champion. 2008 WSB main event. Made the final table there. I think that's when many of us got introduced to Chino Sorry. Reem, and then he's been a mainstay in the game ever since. That event number four tournament that uh, Chino Reem won, 91 entries, and he took home $218,400. He topped Jonathan Little in heads up play. Reem has two caches total at this Poker Masters including this one here. So his only other cash was that victory in event number four. Today's 130. He came into this final table sitting fifth on the Poker Masters leaderboard. Looking to try and chase down the Lithuanian Vladis Tomasauskas who is running away with the, <laughs> the purple jacket leaderboard race. He's got 506 points. Tomasowskis, if you were with us, he won event number one, he took sixth place in event number two, and then he won event number three. He's out there today in the event number seven, 25K No Limit Hold'em at one of the outer tables. Probably keeping one eye on this final table to see how Chino Reem performs. Blaskowitz here out of the cutoff seat opened with King-9 suited to 130,000. Bottom of three betting out of the small blind to 330,000. Laskowitz does give it up. Bottom was going to take that one. Bottom has been chipping up nicely to start this final table. He's up more than 300,000 since we started. Just kind of slow and steady for the three time Super High Roller Bowl champion. Speaking of Super High Roller Bowl, I did talk about Super High Roller Bowl PLO previously, but the $300,000 buy in Super High Roller Bowl, the eighth edition of the Super High Roller Bowl, is coming up in a week's time, September 28th through 30th, here in Las Vegas at the Poker Go Studio. Daniel Negreanu is the defending champion of that event. Justin Bonomo at this final table, of course, is a three time Super High Roller Bowl champion. Likely see Stephen Chidwick in that one. Probably Orpin Kasachikoglu as well. That is coming up September 28th through 30th. Three days of live streaming on PokerGo.com. So you can pick up that annual subscription. Save yourself 20 bucks. Use the promo code DREAM20 when you subscribe annually to PokerGo.com. And if you do it within the next week, you're going to get entered into that annual subscriber giveaway. So all the content that you can handle, tons of big buy-ins, and a nice giveaway to go with it. Bonomo here on the button. King 10 suited makes it 140,000 and has no takers as he continues to just chip on up. I feel short in this chair. Yeah, the chair's are a little table high. You have it on the max height? I think so. I'm trying to bring it up. It won't go anymore. We're just over halfway through this one-hour final table preview from event number six at the 2023 <laughs> Poker Masters. My name is Donnie Peters. Flying solo today, but it's my pleasure to be here. We are approaching 200 likes on the YouTube video. I said I wanted to get us to 500, so first let's try and get us up over 200. Then let's go for 300. Let's just get there. Let's get there. Come on. Two nines here for Steven Chidwick. He's coming in with a raise. Let's go. Raise 135. 135k is now the price to enter the pot.
Orpin, the ace, eight of spades on the button. He is going to make the call. We'll have the ultimate position at the table post-flop sitting on the button here. I want to join you guys, believe me. Um, he said, Liverpool, England, watching poker go, plus Brighton and Hove on TV here. Tony Bloom, ex-high stakes player, now owns the Premier League club. Tony Bloom won a, I believe it was a U.S. Poker Open tournament at the studio earlier this year. Maybe it was PLO. I, I can't remember exactly. They all start to blend together. But yeah, he was here in Vegas on vacation. Doesn't play too much poker these days. Popped into the Poker Go studio. Tony Bloom, known as the Lizard. Yeah, $25,000 buy-in Poker Masters event, actually. I mean, go figure. Last year in the Poker Masters, he won 360 k The last result on Tony Bloom's end him up. All right, on the flop here, we got top pair for Open Cassette Chicago in position against Stephen Chidwick, who flopped the over pair of nines, 8-6-3 rainbow. It's going to be a tricky spot here for Orpin. Stevie comes with 210000 on the continuation bet. Cassette Chicago makes the call. Four on the turn. Does bring a backdoor heart draw. Chidwick here with 710,000 behind. There is 840,000 in the middle. Could be sizing this for a shove. Chidwick's hand good. Two nines is an over pair, of course, good, but does have some vulnerability, and he's going to go for just about all of it. Does have that 5K chip that he left behind. The bet is 705,000. Corbin now put to the test here. We'll see if he can figure this one out. Certainly not an easy spot for him. Stephen Chidwick, we know, is a very, very capable player. Orpin going to use some of those time extension cards by himself a little bit extra to think this one over. Top pair, top kicker against an opponent that is cer certainly capable of bluffing, certainly capable of, you know, putting it in here with, with maybe the, you know, second best hand, but uh, tricky spot indeed for Kisachi Coglu. How much was the gun? Six ninety five. Six ninety five. Let's bring it six ninety. Six ninety. What do you guys think? Call or fold? Let us know in the chat. Looks like Orpin has used three time extension, has three behind, I believe. Fold. 
Kisetchikoglu does give it up, and correctly so. Well done from Orpin, who is still the chip leader, despite giving that one up. Stephen Chidwick picking up those chips there. Now moving into fourth position with six players remaining. Would you fold? Pair? Oh, no. Pair? Nice fold there from It'd Orpin because that's Chicago. Orpin got into poker, you know, he's a businessman, gets into poker, takes it up as a hobby, but over like. the last year or two, you know, give or take, uh, has really started to work on his game. Talks a lot with is decent on that board. some of the best <laughs> players in the world. If you had two fives, would you have called? Works on well, his I game mean, regularly. Pretty top level fold right there. Could have easily Let's gotten, you know, sucked into the fact that spot right there. I flat the ace of spades. How much better am I going to do than top pair, top kicker against a capable opponent like Stephen Chidwick? But Orpin was able to think that one over and find the fold correctly so. Well done by him. Once he sees the stream or gets the result in, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever the delay is that we're working with, I'm sure he's going to give himself a nice little pat on the back there. And now he's getting right back to work, as the chip leader should. From the cutoff, see Queen 8 off. Kisachikoklu comes in with a raise to 120,000. Jack Hardcastle coming in with a 3-bet here. Ace 5 off on the button. He's going to apply that pressure. Reem and Laskowitz out of the way from the blinds. Orpin also kicks his hand in, and Hardcastle takes that one. If you want to get into that PGT Championship $1 million free roll, I talked about the annual subscriber giveaway earlier. PGT.com slash Gleam or scan the QR code on your screen right now. That is for a free social media giveaway. All you got to do is head to PGT.com slash Gleam. Like you got multiple stacks of blue chips I can't see. Complete oh, some yeah, various yeah. social Thank media sure. tasks. They're very simple things, like our Facebook page, like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, retweet or repost uh, this post on X or, you know, Twitter, as I like to still refer to it as. Simple stuff like that. Sign up to the newsletter, for example. Every time you complete a task, you get virtual raffle tickets. We're going to spin the wheel, pull out one of those raffle tickets in about a week's time, and... Uh, one winner will be invited out to Las Vegas in January to compete in that season-ending PGT Championship $1 million free roll. Our moderator, Russell, dropping the link to that social media giveaway in the chat. Russell, thank you for correcting the case sensitivity on the URL. I know that's a little tricky, but appreciate you hitting me up on that and uh, us getting on the same page. Thank you, thank you very much. PGT.com slash Gleam will take you to that giveaway. Bonomo here opening up with two sevens. Chidwick defends out of the big line with nine eight off. The preflop raise was to 140,000 from Bonomo, who was acting under the gun. Jack eight seven here. Rainbow, but could produce some action. Bottom set for Bonomo. Middle pair and a gut shot for Stephen Chidwick. Chidwick checks and Bonomo comes with 100,000. Chidwick makes the call. Check. King of spades here on the turn. Chidwick checks again. Bonomo in a very good spot here. His hand certainly of license to 
keep firing away and building this one. Ten seconds. Five seventy in the pot. Animal comes with three hundred and seventy-five thousand. Chidwick is going to make the call. To the river we go as this pot is now up over 1.3 million between these two stars. Quads! Hello! They say it always comes seven in. Boy, did it come seven. Quad sevens here for Justin Bonomo. Chidwick has 875,000 remaining in his stack. Bonomo covers by about two times. 1.32 million in the middle. Ten seconds. Certainly looking likely like Bonomo is just going to try and get it all here. All in. There it is. All in from Justin Bonomo, the three time super high roller bowl champion. Stephen Chidwick now put to the test. Chidwick gives it up. And that four of a kind for Justin Bonham is going to take it down. Is he going to show? You going to show, show the quads? Come on. Come on. Too much of a pro. He, he's, he's too much of a pro. He's been here too many times. Quads for Justin Bonham ain't no thing. And with that pot, Justin Bonham is now the chip leader here in event number six. 211 caches in his career for Justin Bonham. 71 podium finishes. 33 of those podium finishes have resulted in victories. He's trying to get his 34th live tournament win right here today. These stats courtesy of thehendonmob.com. Six players remaining here in event number six at the 2023 Poker Masters. Got about 12 minutes or so left in this free one-hour preview stream before I usher you guys over to PokerGo.com where you can watch the remainder of this final table. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call over there. They are the A-team. Love those guys, and they do an absolutely tremendous job. So if you want more poker, head on over to PokerGo.com. And if you want to pick up an annual subscription, I would invite you to do so and uh, save yourself 20 bucks by using the promo code DREAM20. Chino Reem here coming in with a raise. Queen Jack of Diamonds makes it 125K. Approaching 300 likes on the YouTube video. We might fall short of the 500 lofty goal, but I think we can get us to 300 in the next 10 or 11 minutes before the stream closes out. What do you guys think? Maybe you guys will surprise me and we'll get to 400. That would be spectacular. Cool. Justin Bonomo, fresh off those quads, fresh off gaining the chip lead, is going to defend the ace four off from the big blind. 8-5-5. Justin Bottom was ace high is still best, but Reem, the preflop aggressor, in position. Action checks to him and he fires 100k. What's up, Shane? How you doing, Charles? Sugar Ray, Antonio, John R, Charger T. P46. See all you guys out there. Justin Bonomo gives that one up and Chino Reem takes it down. Chino Reem now the chip leader in the tournament. Looking for his second Poker Masters title this series. He won event number four for 218,000. Defeated Jonathan Little in heads up play.
10 minutes remaining here in the free one hour preview of this final table. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. We are up over 300 likes. Love to see it. Thank you guys for showing us some love. Let's push onward to 400. Come on, I know there's plenty of you out there that haven't hit the thumbs up button. Help us out. I'm flying solo. I want to be able to do more commentary, but I gotta be able to tell the bosses that I did a good job. Laskowitz here is in the cutoff, so he's got two fours. He's thinking it over. Would be raising into two of the larger stacks in the blinds. Bonomo in the small blind, because at Chicago in the big blind. Laskowitz electing to fold there. Those baby pairs, those twos, threes, and fours, I mean, they, they, they never really look so hot in these spots. So can't totally blame Laskowitz for getting out of the way there, given his stack size in relation to the others remaining. Chidwick now ace nine off on the button. Chidwick is the shortest stack. He's got 14 big blinds, 845,000. 800. 800. Just about all of that is going into the middle, 800,000. And Justin Bonomo has ace king in the small blind. So Laskowitz getting out of the way with the two fours, electing to just fold them pre-flop. Opens the door for Steven Chidwick on the button. For all intents and purposes, he moves all in. Still does have 45K behind, but can't really imagine him getting away from this unless something crazy happens between these two blinds. And then Bonomo wakes up with it. Ace-King off in the small blind. Good call. And he makes the call. Because that chicago has got Queen-Jack off, and that's into the muck from the big blind, so... Here we go, Bonomo versus Chidwick. Chidwick has 45K behind. Would only imagine this is going in on the flop. Queen, 7-4. Chidwick calls all in here as Justin Bonomo puts that last 45K in. And here we go. Steven Chidwick is at risk of being the sixth place finisher here in event number nine. He's going to need a nine. Sorry, event number six. He's going to need a nine. Bonomo in commanding position with the ace king. Deuce on the turn, not gonna do it for Chidwick. <coughs> One of three remaining nines is what Steven Chidwick needs to find on the river. Seven of spades on the river, pairs the board, does not do it for Steven Chidwick and he is going to be out the door in sixth place. $57,000 is his payout as Justin Bonomo Moves back into the top spot That's now up to 3.7 million. The spade million. and you know what's coming. <laughs> huh? 62 big blinds for Full house or Mr. Clean. Bonomo here. I made a split. Deuces or four? Wow. Yeah, full house. Pick up the board for Yeah. Laskowitz, if he had played that one, you not sure if he would have made it to the flop, but if you go with it. What a flop to set you gotta if, call he, if he went with it. For sure. Stevie might still shove. Then Justin goes, you, you fold. But if, if you open in Stevie folds, you gotta call Justin's three. I have queen jack. What did you have? A pair of fours. You call in his three bet? I don't know. I probably would have just jammed, I guess. I don't know. Seems like a big jam. Cut. I don't know. Probably, yeah. I think it's a fold. What is it? Fours. You would have flopped a set fours? of fours. <laughs> Give me two fours right now. I'll show, I'll show you what to do with them. Five minutes left here in the this. That's what you do. <laughs> just like you did. One hour preview stream of this event number six final table. Oh, seems really close. How much to watch the entirety point, of this point, final table, head on over to PokerGo.com. Sure. Hmm? Monthly, quarterly, and annual plans point? available. Best price we can offer. I open. I don't is a twenty dollar discount on the annual subscription price. You use the promo code Dream Twenty. I still open. Take advantage of that I offer. Either open fold. I wouldn't just jam here. Not 18 bigs, no. I would open. But Justin's obviously three bidding ace king, so then. Yeah, well, if it goes all in. Then, then you can Justin fold. Justin Bonomo, 120K on the yeah, button here, and Orpin Cassette Chicago yeah. has right. sure. ace king off here in the small blind. 
We're just being results. Yeah, we are very. If it was brick, that would be. Mono wouldn't start with more than 3.7 million. Four for two. starting with more than 2.6 million. Because you still win without the four. Just that Chicago is going to three bet here, make it 450,000. Bonomo gives that queen six off, up into the muck it goes, and Orpin Have takes the pot free flop. Loop. Thank you. Do you want to stack them? Huh? Do you want to stack them? Sure. You're very welcome, Blair. Good to see you in the chat. Wow, we might almost get 400 likes. Look at that. Short of the 500 I wanted, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. A couple of minutes left here in the free one hour preview stream. This is event number six at the 2023 Poker Masters. The final of the $10,000 buy in events going on right now at the outer tables is event number seven, $25,000 No Limit Hold'em. The next three events at the Poker Masters, that one I just mentioned, oh, event sorry. number seven, 25000 No Limit Hold'em. Event number eight and nine, also $25,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournaments. And then event number 10 is the $50,000 buy-in finale. You guys can find live reporting coverage six. over on PGT.com. Check out how the action is going on over there. Nice little companion to, to follow along, you know. You can check out the, the live reporting updates. You can watch the live stream as well. Kiss at Chikoklu here. Two and a half X is the raise on the button with ace twos off. Jack Hardcastle in the small blind with two fives. One million. Up to one million it goes for Hardcastle. Chino Reem out of the way. Chino's been pretty quiet so far. Hasn't really had too much to play with and faced with spots like this where it gets to him and it's, you know, raised three bet in front of him. Hardcastle's also been quiet. Started the day with, with those aces on the first hand, flopping top set, but hasn't been too active since then, but still uh, I need to know hanging around and is up him. chips on the day. <laughs> there you see I hope it's not like the bio for Hardcastle Poker Pro out of England. How big was he it? has a WTT uh, title. It was a big also board. a two-time GUKPT two main event on? champion. Turn. Good to see him here you joining fall? us in huh? the studio, you battling with they say? some of the top players in the game. Something like that. Oh, it is on me. I had a seven in my hand. I folded king seven, so I, I didn't want to give you seven eight. Maybe eight nine suited. Orpin going to try it again here, coming in with a raise to 120k. And once again, Hardcastle picking up a pair, a made hand that he's likely going to be three betting here. Maybe, okay, electing to call, okay. Call. King, queen suited for Laskowitz in the big blind. Facing that min raise and call. Laskowitz is the current short stack. It's 18 big blinds to start this hand. Bet here from Laskowitz up to 740,000. Just that Chicago is getting out of the way. How much did you start with? A million seventy-five. KB, you're welcome for the hat, man. You are very, very welcome. Approaching the ever so popular 420 likes in the video. You guys think we can hit 500 before the end of this hand? Come on, let's go. Hardcastle here gonna use a time extension as he thinks this one over. 
tricky spot. Sevens are kind of like that, you know, eights for you're probably for sure going all in. Sevens, it's like, eh, I don't feel too great about it. Probably going to end up going with it. Laskowitz three betting to the 740 has 335k behind. Wow, Hardcastle giving it up. Pair of what? Hmm? Pair of what? And Chino knows he's been Middle here one. in these streets far too long. All right, this next hand will be the final hand Flip. of our free one-hour preview stream. Flip. Flip. I would invite Flip. everyone watching to come and join Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks over on PokerGo.com as you see the event number six final table presented by StormX, the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of PokerGo. We lost Ryan Reese first today in seventh place. Then we lost Stephen Chidwick in sixth place. There are five players remaining. $218,500 up top for the winner of this one, Justin Bonomo, is currently the chip leader. All right, one more hand here, and then I'm going to get out of here. I guess I had the best hands. PokerGo.com is where you can find the remainder yeah, of this final table. They're better than like sevens or sixes? Hey, they're sorry. He had the best. The blinds are up on this hand. 40000 80000 is... You didn't fold ace jack. Price right? of poker. Charger T saying, I'd go with the 7-7. Seven, seven. It certainly wasn't ace queen. I think I would queen. go with four <laughs> two, given the way that it if you feel played out to him, flat, uh, opening it up for a three bet. I mean, you're probably going to be in a flip a lot of times, but I think, I think you might just have to take it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not fixing it now. Try and play for the win, you know. Once again, this will be the final hand we show you here on this free one-hour preview. Appreciate everyone for joining in. 1.4. Thanks. Trip over. Actually. Checking this out. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call over on PokerGo.com. They'll take it home all the way to the end until we have a champion of event number six. Play here folding over to last in the small blind. He's I also going to give it up, so... A rather uneventful final hand, but a final hand nonetheless as chip leader Justin Bonomo is pushed the blinds and antes here. And with that, my name is Donnie Peters. Appreciate everyone for tuning in here on YouTube. Head on over to Poker Go. Pick up a subscription, Dream 20, if you want to save yourself 20 bucks on an annual plan. And I'll talk to you guys next time.